All right, welcome back, kids. You got the Chris Salcedo Show here on uh, Newsmax TV and the Voice of Texas AM 700 KSEV. I want to welcome in our guest, uh, mm-hmm. Attorney General of the great state of Texas, Ken Paxton. Mr. Paxton, welcome back. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me back. Democrats, well, this is what we, we call it, the Democrats' effort to cheat at the ballot box. They call it all mail-in voting. This is going on all around the country in uh, Nevada. This is happening in Michigan. And it's also happening in the great state of Texas. U.S. District Judge Fred Beery, uh, Beery, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly, said that this can happen here in Texas. Your reaction, sir? Well, so the law in Texas is pretty simple, pretty clear. You can mail in ballot if you're over 65, if you're in prison and you're not a felon, if you're going to be out of this, out of the your area, out of state. Um, so the, the reasons for voting by mail-in ballot were specifically designated by the legislature. And what's going on here, the Democrats, other liberal groups, who have actually acknowledged on the floor of the House, when we were debating voter ID, that they, when they were trying to argue that voter ID was, fought, that was, was, was unnecessary, they were arguing that mail-in ballots is where you have frauds. And now, unfortunately, they're ignoring that, and they're pushing for mail-in ballots for everyone if you have any fear of contracting a virus or any other, I guess, disease. Now, this judge took a novel approach, I thought. He was saying that it, it, uh, that if elderly folks can get a ballot, why can't everybody? He was, he was uh, unequal protection under the law, I guess, is what the excuse yeah. that he used. Does that pass legal muster in your view? No. I mean, it's not his job, nor is it my job. Even if I, for some reason, didn't think the legislature covered all bases or they covered too few, too many, it's my, my job is to enforce whatever the law is. The judge is not supposed to rewrite Texas law. And he he made his attempt at absolutely basically eliminating the exceptions and making it valid for anybody to do mail-in, which is not what the legislature intended. So the elected representatives under our form of government are supposed to make that decision, not, not a judge who's appointed. Yeah, no, I understand. I want to remind everybody out there, even in the great state of Texas, What happened in the last election cycle, and uh, Attorney General Paxton, I know you're aware of this case, we have people sitting in jail right now who showed up to elderly people's mailboxes, stole their mail-in ballot, filled it out for a bunch of Democrat socialists, and then mailed it in. Uh, And now there's somebody in jail because this this was a Democrat ring of individuals who were trying to cheat at the ballot box. If we get this uh, carte blanche in Texas or all over the United States, we're going to see groups like Acorn or whatever they're calling themselves these days in Texas. They call themselves Battleground Texas. Mm-hmm. We're going to see rampant voter fraud everywhere, yes? There's no doubt. Uh, this judge, Beery, uh, said that there's no evidence that we had uh, lots of voter fraud, and which is not true. My office, 66% of the cases that we deal with, and we're, we're, we're responsible for dealing with voter fraud, and we don't, we don't have that many prosecutors that have been um, put in the position where they can do anything about it. But 66% of our cases relate to mail-in ballot fraud. Good grief. That that high. Good grief. Oh, well. 66, two-thirds. Wow. Uh, we're having a conversation right now, folks, with the Attorney General of the great state of Texas, Ken Paxton. Let me switch gears on you because there's something else that's going on around this country under the, under the guise of criminal justice reform, and it's letting convicts out. Uh, for those of you who, uh, you folks in the voice of Texas, didn't hear this yesterday. Joe Grimaldi, who's Houston's police union, I want to read this tweet that he put out. The monster who stabbed and murdered and robbed an innocent 80-year-old grandmother over the weekend has been arrested 67 times and was out on two felony PR bonds. The colossal failure of bail and criminal justice reform people are dying. This has to stop. Uh, Attorney General Paxton, out of control judges. Uh, th- th- yeah. they're, they're literally killing us, sir. Absolutely. So you remember Rahm Emanuel with the Obama administration. He 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 said, don't ever let a crisis go to waste. Right. And I, I think the Democrats have done that with mail-in ballot, and now they're, they've also done it with this issue. And they've tried to release, especially some of the bigger counties, Dallas County, Harris County. We've been in court trying to stop them from using the coronavirus as an excuse to release potential potential felons and felons. And that has been one of the legal battles that we have been successful so far, but they were able to quickly release other people before we were able even to file a lawsuit. Yeah, no, I understand that. And I guess it begs the question, what can be done? I mean, and it's not only here in Texas 
where we have this, by the way, this guy, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm not sure which judge, because I can't find any report. Oddly enough, uh, A.G. Paxton, I can't find anybody who wants to identify this judge who is responsible for the death of an 80-year-old woman uh, and letting out a 67-time arrestee and a two-time felon at least. What can be done by we the people to guard ourselves against these Democrat-appointed judges? Well, most of these judges in Texas are elected. So one is we can unelect judges that release people that are going to harm us. And second, what we're doing, we're suing them. They have no right to release somebody that has been put in prison for a certain period of time. These judges aren't supposed to have the discretion to just unilaterally release everyone because they're worried about them getting a virus. It's just, it's, 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 it's a violation of law. I wanted to get you to comment really quickly, if you could, on the reopening efforts uh, here in Texas. What role, if anything, is the attorney general uh, playing uh, in the state of Texas and other attorneys general you're talking with around the country in making sure that these phased openings are being properly applied. And I want, I want you to focus on what's happening out in California. Gavin Newsom is discriminating against people of faith. He's saying, for some reason, we can't, we can't have uh, yep. houses of worship open in phase two, and it's completely arbitrary. Uh, what are, uh, are the steps you're taking in Texas to make sure you're not punishing people of faith the way California is? Sure. Every state is a little bit different, but every state should not be different as it relates to religious liberty. Churches have wide latitude. They're, they're, they're recognized in the First Amendment, free exercise. And right. so California, Texas, we've done it very differently. We put out guidelines very early that did not restrict churches even in the same way that we that the governor restricted businesses, we we let churches make a lot of their own decisions. And so because of the First Amendment, very important in the Constitution, I think what these other states are doing is clearly unconstitutional. I think you're going to see lawsuit after lawsuit. And if the Constitution is followed, if people care about the First Amendment, these judges will rule correctly. I think these 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 are going to be struck down by by uh, the courts. I hope so. I hope so. And it's been said by smarter people than me: just because you have a pandemic going on doesn't mean you have the Constitution of the United States that is all of a sudden null and void. Attorney General Ken Paxton, sir, appreciate the time on the Chris Alcedo Show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.